Greeting students. Today we are going to learn about one of Japan's leading company. Most of us at least once must have heard the name of the company Sony. Let us know this company in a much better way. Sony Corporation, commonly referred to as Sony, is a Japanese multinational conglomerate corporation headquartered in Konon, Minato, Tokyo, Japan. Its diversified business is primarily focused on the electronics, game, entertainment, and financial services sector. The company is one of the leading manufacturers of electronic products for the consumer and professional markets. Sony is ranked 87th on the 2012 list of Fortune Global 500. Sony Corporation is the electronics business unit and the parent company of the Sony Group, which is engaged in business through its four operating segments, electronics, including video games, network services and medical business, motion pictures, music and financial services. These make Sony one of the most comprehensive entertainment companies in the world. Sony's principal business operations include Sony Corporation, Sony Electronics in the US, Sony Pictures Entertainment, Sony Computer Entertainment, Sony Music Entertainment, Sony Mobile Communications, formerly Sony Ericsson and Sony Financial. Sony is among the worldwide top 20 semiconductor sales leaders and third largest television manufacturer in the world after Samsung Electronics and LG Electronics. Sony found its beginning in the wake of World War II. In 1946, Masaru Ibuka started an electronics shop in a department store building in Tokyo. The company had $530 in capital and a total of eight employees. The next year, he was joined by his colleague Akio Morita and they founded a company called Tokyo Sushin Kogyo, Tokyo Telecommunications Engineering Corporations. The company built Japan's first tape recorder called Type G. In 1958, the company name was changed to Sony. In the early 1950s, Ibuka travelled in the United States and heard about Bell Labs' invention of the transistor. He convinced Bell to license the transistor technology to his Japanese company for use in communications. Ebuka's company made the first commercially successful transistor radios. According to Schieffer, Sony's TR-63 radio cracked open the US market and launched the new industry of consumer microelectronics. By the mid-1950s, American teens had begun buying portable transistor radios in huge numbers, helping to propel the fledging industry from an estimated 1 lakh units in 1955 to 5 million units by the end of 1968. Despite some successes, the company faced continued struggles in the mid to late 2000s. It became known for its stagnancy with a fading brand name. In 2012, Kazuo Hirai was promoted to president and CEO, replacing Sir Howard Stranger. Shortly thereafter, Hirai outlined his company-wide initiative named One Sony to revive Sony from years of financial losses and bureaucratic management structure, which proved difficult for former CEO Stranger to accomplish, partly due to differences in business culture and native languages between Stringer and some of Sony's Japanese division and subsidiaries. Hirai outlined three major areas of focus for Sony's electronics business, which include imaging, technology, gaming and mobile technology, as well as a focus on reducing the major losses from the television business. When Tokyo Sushin Kogyo was looking for a romanized name to use to market themselves, they strongly considered using their initial TTK. The primary reason they did not is that the railway company Tokyo Kyoki was known as TKK. The company occasionally used acronym Totsuko in Japan that during his visit to the United States, Morita discovered that Americans had trouble pronouncing that name. Another early name that was tried out for a while was Tokyo Teletech until Akio Morita discovered that there was an American company already using Teletech as a brand name. The name Sony was chosen for the brand as a mix of two words. 
One was the Latin word sonus, which is the root of sonic and sound, and the other was sony, a familiar term used in 1950s America to call a boy. The first Sony branded product, the TR55 transistor radio, appeared in 1955, but the company name did not change to Sony until January 1958. At the time of the change, it was extremely unusual for a Japanese company to use Roman letters to spell its name instead of writing it in kanji. The move was not without opposition. TTK's principal bank at the time, Mitsui, had strong feelings about the name. They pushed for a name such as Sony Electronic Industries or Sony Teletech. Akio Morita was firm, however, as he did not want the company named Tide to any particular industry. Eventually, both Ibuka and Mitsui Bank's chairman gave their approval. Sony has historically been notable for creating its own in-house standards for new recording and storage technologies instead of adopting those of other manufacturers and standards bodies. Sony, either alone or with partners, has introduced several of the most popular recording formats including the floppy disk, compact disk, the Blu-ray disk. Sony offers a number of products in a variety of product lines around the world. Sony has developed a music playing robot called a Rolly, dog-shaped robots called AIBO and a humanoid robot called QRIO. As of 1st April 2012, Sony is organized into the following business segments. Imaging products and solutions, IPNS, game, mobile products and communications, MP and C, home entertainment and sound, HE and S, devices, pictures, music, financial services and all other. The network and medical businesses are included in the all other. The Sony operation in Wales takes the Sony Corporate Social Responsibility mission very seriously. The Sony Green Management Directive lays down specific directives to ensure Sony reduces its impact on the environment in terms of CO2 emissions, the consumption of water and the reduction of waste generation while increasing material recycling ratios. The on-site environmental centre, built with the assistance of Bridgend Daycare Service for Adults with Learning Difficulties, now hosts an estimated 27 primary school visits per year. The Sony UK Technology Centre is constantly aware of its role in the local community and encourages the use of its facilities by schools and local groups, including regular tours of its manufacturing facility, inspiring the next generation. In November 2011, Sony was ranked 9th jointly with Panasonic in Greenpeace's Guide to Greener Electronics. This chart grades major electronics companies on their environmental work. The company scored 3.6 by 10, incurring a penalty point for comments it has made in opposition to energy efficiency standards in California. It also risks a further penalty point in future editions for being member of trade associations that have commenced against energy efficiency standards. Together with Philips, Sony receives the highest score for energy policy advocacy for after calling on the EU to adopt an unconditional 30% reduction target for greenhouse gas emissions by 2020. Meanwhile, it receives a full marks for the efficiency of its products. In 2007, Sony ranked 14th on the Greenpeace Guide. Sony fell from its earlier 11th place ranking due to Greenpeace's claims that Sony had doubled standards in their waste policies. Since 1976, Sony has had an environmental conference. Sony's policies address their effects on global warming, the environmental and resources. They are taking steps to reduce the amount of greenhouse gases that they put out as well as regulating the products they get from their suppliers in a process that they call green procurement. Sony has said that they have signed on to have about 75% of their Sony building running on geothermal power. 
The Sony Take Back Recycling Program allows consumers to recycle the electronics products that they buy from Sony by taking them to e-cycle, recycling drop-off points around the U.S. The company has also developed a bio-battery that runs on sugars and carbohydrates that works similarly to the way living creatures work. This is the most powerful small bio-battery to date. So students, we got to know about the various aspects of Sony. We went through the company's history to its present market scenario. Hope you must have got useful information about the company. Have a nice day.